the Celtics at the end of the day will probably have too much. All right, Hunter, uh, let's talk baseball. Base we're talking ball. baseball. Braves with Roy nice Cap, but now we're talking baseball. I was happy about that. No, don't know that song. No, I don't know that song. <sighs> sorry, not sorry, but sorry, I don't know that song. I don't. I don't know if I should forgive you or not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna think about that one. The Ace Ventura thing, whether whatever age you are, I, that that one sh- you should you should watch that. Good one. God, I didn't even realize the Yankees scored twenty last night. Ugh. Yeah. The Cardinals gave up two touchdowns too to the Brewers. Um, mm. It was not teams are hitting bombs. Um, we talked earlier, Hunter, that the pitchers had the advantage. It seems that the offense is starting to figure out some of that now. Starting yeah. to warm up about fifty games in. Well, and think about it: if this was a normal hundred and sixty-two game season, you would think this would be the time that offenses hopefully, hopefully have everything together, uh, and, and they do. Um, I'm just surprised at some of the numbers that we do see for some of the runs that these teams like give up. Mm-hmm. Like is it's hard to think it's not that is hitting better because batting average would say no, but is pitching worse? Qual and let me take that back. Is quality of pitchers worse? Because we know what we're gonna get maybe mm-hmm. out of the five or six aces that are studs in the league. We know what we're going to get. But is that is everybody else just kind of meh? I don't know. Um, I, I've i got some notes and thoughts on that. I'm trying to figure where you're going with that. Uh, I, like, I think about it. Like, we've been saying it for years. It seems like the batting averages just keep getting lower and they lower because the, pitch, the pitchers are doing nothing but throwing gas, 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 and they really can't hit it. Well, but and also the, now I, I'm looking. I'm not at sure it, if it's that as much as it is the philosophy now. That, oh, that well, we talk strikeout about, is okay. Where, where a strikeout is okay and not, they would some coaches or some people would rather you strike out than put the ball in play if it would risk a possible double play. And I just, I don't, I just don't see myself teaching my son. All right, kid, you know if there's a runner on first, I'd rather you watch strike three than put it in play if you can't hit it out of the park. True. (laughs) Well, that's because me and you played at times where you didn't want to get in the car with Dad when the game was over if you struck out looking once and, God forbid, twice. Because that was not a good ride home. Right. We had one of those last night. Did you? The kids were one for four with three Ks. Ah. And coach pitch. Coach pitch. The night before in practice, my daughter went three for three. Now, folks, she is the she's playing an eight hundred year old coach pitch. She's signed up as a six year old, but she's technically a five year old by their rules. So she she's been stroking it in practice, and in the game, she's struck out every time so far. So we're Nothing. trying to we're trying to narrow it down and figure out what what it is. But she swings the ball hard. She's got a great swing. Um, it's almost like you know, Hunter. We talked about the uh, that the pitching angle. Mm-hmm. If you if if you can get the ball, I've noticed at home practicing with her, in the strike zone, she'll smash it. But that's it's kind of tough. But anyway, yeah, they were one for four last night. He did score the team's only run. Uh, he got knocked in uh, on that. So, um, so in four in four games, Hunter, we've been outscored forty six to two. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and remember, the other teams won't let us. Oh, the, the oh the the controversy last night, Hunter. So we're playing at two different places, Optimus is whatever, right? And what they're doing is two different rules. The umpire last night tells us you can't run and tag runners. We're not playing uh, T-ball here. You have to throw it. So our pitcher gets a ground ball to him. The runner on third runs home. He runs over and tags him, and the umpire calls him safe. And we're like, who's he he's supposed to throw it to? He just, he just, I mean, it was bam, bam. He just ran, the kid ran off the back at any level, Hunter. That's an out. When a runner is off the base... What is the first thing the coach says? Run at him. Run at At him. any level. At whether, any level. When listen, a runner is off the bag and you have the ball in the infield, you run the, at that At runner. the major league level, if a guy is <laughs> running from third to home and the, pitcher, the pitcher runs at him and tags him with the ball in his glove, yeah. that is an out. They wouldn't call him safe. So we had a discussion about it after the inning was over and said, all right, we're not going to play it that way. After they scored three more runs. And then we get run ruled. Well, that's always fun. After they get after they give them three more runs, we get run ruled. That's always fun. So you anyway, love to see it. 
we had a kid miss home plate, not our team. The other team missed home plate, ran in the dugout. And see, our coach, bless his heart, he's, he's a great guy. He doesn't know the baseball rules. So it's my job. I'm the fifth coach and the scorekeeper, and I know all the rules. Or 99% of them, I'll say that. Uh, not the mine, might rules. even be 95. Uh, but anyway, uh, I had to tell him that, you know, the kid gave himself up when he went in the dugout. They they ran him back out on the field. And I told him, I said, if they wouldn't run him back out, we wouldn't have even known. They right. should just kept him in the dugout. They'd have got to run. But the umpire wouldn't listen to me because I'm not the head coach. I'm yelling, I'm yelling at him. I'm like right behind the fence at him because I'm in the dugout. I'm like, he can't do that. He's, I said, he's in the dugout. He's out. He gave himself up already. He probably should have called him out right there right. because he gave himself up. He said he couldn't do anything until we appealed. So the coach, I had the coach go. He probably whatever. in the back of his mind said, "This is coach pitch." I my right. God, right. So he, there, there's been some fun controversy on the coach pitch. I, I can't wait to hear Gene's input on the pitching <laughs> from about Terry. <laughs> That's gonna be hilarious. Gene, I know you're watching. <laughs> just run whenever that Terry, gets brought up. Terry, that's the first topic. Just we're, we're getting uh, into just, it. Just the, say you got to go to the, the restroom. The first topic is is, is pitching rules. Just uh, say you got to go to the restroom. It's at, not as meh. soon as the biscuits over, go to the bathroom. Yeah, as soon as it. Yeah, yep. yep. I got to get Gene in on that one. Uh, so anyway, that was fun. Um, so baseball has announced a couple um, announcements, Hunter, I wanted to talk about. They did, and I I think me and you came up with the proposal for one of them months ago. Years ago. Possibly Especially years. months on well, this show, but years on Saturday yes, morning shows. Yes, Um So which one are you talking about? And I think we both, I, both We're both actually. talking about the... Uh, well, they're calling it the bubble for playoffs, okay. but so there's two there's two playoff things that they did. One, Manfred said yesterday, this is kind of the quick one, that it looks like, and I don't know how this is going to affect regular seasons going forward, that they want to keep the eight team playoff, sixteen playing playoff format. That the owners want that. That's fine, and that's that's the one that I said I've I've been proposing for years. Just right, on that I one. like so that's that been one. for years. Well, that, I think we've always said that too on the Saturday we want shows. At least like six or seven. We want not the five. we would we would much rather if you were going to take games away, we would much rather you take away regular season games and give us more postseason games. Right. So that's what they would essentially be doing. So that one, as far as sixteen goes, people are right that you're going to get some mediocre teams in there. But if they're mediocre, let them get they're going to get bounced. Would you not rather than if people's argument is that, but then would you, would you not rather that mediocre team get bounced in a meaningful playoff game as opposed to playing the Kansas City Royals for no reason? Because right. that that's the alternative, mm -hmm. is that we're going to play a regular season series where they're going to play four games against the Royals. It doesn't mean anything. Or we have the opportunity to knock of off the one knock, I'm say, get an upset. And I think that's what uh, everybody should really be in favor of because Lord knows I am. I, I would much rather have playoff sports than regular season sports. You know, I, I said that to a buddy of mine one time. We were He was watching. He's like, did you watch? I know what it was. It was when the NBA first started this last year. He said, did you watch opening game of such and such and such and such? I said, no. I think, he said, why? I said, because there was playoff <laughs> baseball going on. I think the bubble completely demonstrates this is mm -hmm. that how many people watch the preseason bubble games Come. as opposed to like these get actual exactly playoff games. so um I i'm happy kind of happy with that one uh kind of interested in seeing what they do with the season whether it's 120 140 i'm guessing they're gonna try to go 140 something um because it's only really an extra week but it's weird Hunter, how baseball went from only they have expanded so quickly in a short amount of time compared to what they used to be. It used to be just two teams, American, mm -hmm. League, American League champ, National League champ. In fact, the way they used to do it when they started Hunter was they played to the All-Star break. And mm -hmm. the first place team from the All-Star break, they were in the National League Championship Series. And then the team who had the best record in the second half, they played them in the National Championship Series. So my dad growing up, I think he said three or four times, the Cardinals had the best overall record in the National League didn't get it. and didn't win either half. Yeah. Came in second in both halves yeah. and didn't make the make make the playoffs. Then it went to four. Then now it's went to five. And then when they jumped from five to eight on each side, like they completely jumped over the football. We were hoping for six, six at seven and give somebody a bye. There's an eight. And they jumped to NBA level at, at the eight spot. So Well, with the number that they have, I think it'd be fine. Uh everybody knows anything can happen in a game of game of baseball too. Whether, the question and, is whether you want series. teams of losing records. 
I don't care. And the basketball's been doing it. Basketball's been doing it. It's you fine. You want a team with losing record in the playoffs? I think that's what they saw. They looked at the basket. How basketball's been, you know, thriving, even letting in, especially in the Eastern Conference. Sometimes three teams below five hundred. Like the football now, I think seven might be the magic number, because you're almost you're still going to keep everybody. Just give the over, one the uh, just give the one the buy. Right, and you're going to keep everybody over five hundred. Well, I don't. I have no problem with giving the number one overall seed. The buy because that gives you something harder to work for mm-hmm. uh, if you're one of the better teams in the regular season. You're saying, okay, there are only one team is going to get a buy. Is mm-hmm. it going to be us or is it going to be somebody else? And if you really want it to be you, you got uh, all these games count. It's not pick and choose time, right? And, you know, it's almost uh, it's uh, it's kind of Belichick New Englandy. We want to get this first round buy. Yep. So it's a shorter distance that we have to take to the championship, and we're rested. And we're going to talk Saturday. Now is Tampa in trouble if they don't get a bye? I but mean, only one team is going to get to buy anyway, so it yeah. actually changed the dynamics. But Brady's never won without the uh, without right. the bye. So and ba- well, they're going to be on the so road. So for baseball, they have <laughs> two buys this year, right? First and second. There's well, no, they no have. Buy. Oh, that's right. No, There's they get to choose. They're they get, to, get choose. to choose. That's some bull. I, I, yeah. I will never. I will never. I wouldn't want like to be a that. part of it. No, I, I well, would it never give the want other team to choose. Fire. He just gives the team fire. Oh yeah, say you're the Dodgers and you pick. I tell you, because think about the teams that they really wouldn't want to pick. You think the Dodgers would say, "Yeah, let's play the Padres." They're two games behind us. Right. No. So they're gonna say, "No, we're not playing the Padres." Would they want to play the Cardinals? You're 21 22. They'd be like, eh, probably. Would they want to play the Marlins? They're 24 and 22. So, of course, it's that is like almost giving them. That's almost the equivalent if the other team doesn't show up to just giving the Dodgers a buy. Right now, it would be the Giants, Cardinals in the eight seed, Giants in the. No, Giants in the eight seed. Are they going to seed, you know, how the second Stop place teams. Two. And then I think that I think they would do that for the second place teams, just being like best record would then be three, four, five. Is it all in a record order, or, or four, or five, the, or six? The division sorry. winners get all the all the top seeds. Is what I'm asking. Do you know? I don't okay. know that. So either, I, either you, way, you right would now think it would be come down to records because right. the Dodgers should be the one seed. I mean, they right. they're they are so far ahead of everybody. The only one that's going to get screwed here is the Padres because. Sorry. Well, well they, that's what I'm saying. Either St. Louis is either the sixth seed because they're in second place, or the eighth seed because they have the worst record. But but it doesn't matter. It because doesn't matter. Choosing. I was gonna say, what's the point if they're just letting in eight teams anyways, and the Dodgers are gonna be the uh, uh, the only Dodgers thing, don't get to choose anything. Listen, oh yeah, the don't, yeah. Okay. I was gonna say the only Not people, much. the only seedings that matter is who the one and two seeds are because they get to pick who they play. Three and four don't. I don't think they do. I think it's just one and two. I don't know, but that's so how can one, two, and three should get to that's pick. How and four conf- and five is say, left. That's how confusing this rule is, though. But there's only three divisions. So I know that. If I was making it, because you know, I'm You'd not in charge s- of anything, I would say the top three. If we're doing picks, all three of those get to pick, and, and then the, but, the other two teams can play each other. So you would just go down the line, then just say, mm-hmm. Dodgers, who do you pick? Mm-hmm. Well, okay, that only leaves two other teams left. Braves, who do you pick? Mm-hmm. And then, you know, well, I mean, fine. I, that's, basically, basically, that's basically so dumb. the Cubs or Braves will be picking between three other teams. But you know what I don't understand, though? The Dodgers, who are they probably going to pick? The weaker, the weakest team. Let's say Dodgers. Who would, Let's who say, would, who would the Braves pick? Probably the second weakest team. Why would, why would you have them pick and not just have it lined up like it's supposed to be well, where they play the team that got right, in well, let's last? Say it's the, let's say it's the— Let's say Cubs and Dodgers get the ones, and y'all end up in the three because that's gonna be the pivotal one. Let's just do this for fun. Yeah, that's gonna be, that is the pivotal. So because one's solidified. Let's say Cubs play the Giants and and the Dodgers play the Cardinals. So that leaves the Braves choosing Marlins, Phillies, Padres. I would pick probably the Phillies. Okay, we've had a better time this year playing the Phillies. Than the Marlins for some reason. Than the Marlins and Padres. Would play and I don't want to see, and I'll be 100% honest, I don't want to see San Diego. Also about choosing these teams, remember, they haven't played each other. No, they haven't. So They've you, only you played your division and, and the American, the American, American League. League. Yeah. The East, West, whatever it is. So be the East for us. So Braves would be choosing, do we want to go against a team like the Phillies who know us? Mm-hmm. Or do you want to attack the Padres? That don't know us. That don't know you. 
I don't know. Is it's, that is that an advantage? So I, I don't know. I don't know. I do like I'm though, sure Gene loves that pl- too. I do like playoff wise though. I do like the uh the bubble. The bubble aspect of it. Um, okay, yeah. The playoff yeah. bubble. You want to break that down? Do you have the locations in, uh, anywhere yet? I can find them. I, right, right yeah, here. you go. I can either one of us. Uh, well, we, here it is. I it's just not in a in a Yeah. Go I ahead. wish I could get a uh, a picture or something. A a graphic. Oh, a the graphic. Word. That yeah. is a very Big word. good word. <laughs> graphic. I have to get Let's a graphic. See. MLB playoff. Bubble. bubble and let's see. I I wonder if I can. I, surely I can find something that has some. I'm type pretty of sure graphic. it's almost Arizona, Florida. I'm pretty sure it's like Texas that. This is the World Series. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. The, te- the it's being in what Arlington? Yes. Yeah, that's where Texas. I thought. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna. I Jeez. literally just clicked on this ESPN article well, about it. That's the same one I'm on, and you got to read a thousand words to figure it out because we're explaining it instead of just giving me an M where everybody's going to be. Um, so, um, well, I mean, at least they're giving us dates, and we're close. It says wild card September 29th. Isn't it weird, though, however, that they have no problem with traveling to nine other cities, but we got to play the bubble. starts now. We got to play. Well, me and you have thrown around, wouldn't it be better if the Major League Baseball and maybe the NBA at some point embraced playing these games at neutral sites? Because then you mm-hmm. could. Tra- the only problem is, is that they play series and it's not like the Super Bowl that's I, just one I game. I told my wife the other day that, uh, again, um, like what you just said, that baseball, no, not my wife, I was actually Andre down the hall. Mm-hmm. Oh what, yeah, what I'm surprised you what, really got them confused. Right, what they've done, yeah. What they've done <laughs> is they keep backing themselves into things that we like and they said they would never do. Yeah. So like the World Series, folks, I like it in one spot. And I don't like the all the other stuff. Mm-hmm. But the the Super Bowl is in a neutral site. How cool would it be every year to say World we're Series. going to Atlanta for a week or we're going mm-hmm. to Tampa for a week or we're going and, and you and then you don't have to take Maybe you don't. You have don't have to, to you have two, two rest days if you, you want. You could, I was gonna say, but you don't have to for travel, right? So it looks like they're I've, going. The, the championship it. series games are going to be in between San Diego and Arlington. Damn, really screwing the East Coast, huh? Yeah, got to be either Central or West Coast. All right, so National League Division Series: Arlington and Minute Maid in Houston. So the first round, um, I'm guessing the National League will be in. No, that's two American League cities. Yeah. So, I think they're just screwing the National League teams. Minute or Maid, most of the East, I, the Minute East Maid, teams. Minute Park is such a dumbass, random, made, weird-shaped stadium that now that's going to be affecting playoffs. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, home of the cheating cheaters. Uh, Let's go to I, Houston. They, they chose the warmer places, I'm guessing, even though probably really what they should have chosen, Hunter, was Tampa. <laughs> I mean, this says for the wild card, best of three all games at home ballparks are the better seeds. Right. So the wild card is all all games that could Second be played. Second round is four. Third round is two. Yeah. So first round is 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 home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the whole time. Is it the whole whole time? Is that's what it says? It says okay. It says best of three all games at the home ballpark it's of only the best better seed. Yeah, it's best of three. Are you shitting me? Mm-mm. Wild card, best of three, all what games at home round? ballpark. Does the National League change the DL, NLD at the second round? Do you see that? Getting there. I getting swear there, to God. Getting there. Division Series, best of five. God. ALDS in San Diego and Los Angeles. The NLDS is Houston and Arlington. So, East teams got to go to Central Why are we Time Zone, seven anyways. Game series, though? Best of five. What the hell? Best of five in the division series. AL division series. Every time we talk about whatever the rules are in baseball, I'm happy for, for a step they're taking, and then I'm and utterly the, bewildered. Literally, bewildered literally they, they're going three, else. five, seven, because league championships are set best of seven. World and, Series uh, nine? American League. World Series nine? <laughs> American League will be in San Diego. Nah, National League will be in Arlington. And then the World Series, still a best of seven. All games will be in Arlington. But isn't that weird how they put... Well, where are they playing in Arlington? At the Texas Rangers Stadium. Oh, at the Rangers Stadium? The new stadium? The new stadium. stadium. Okay. Um, 
what's will they fly the Rangers flags around everywhere too? I don't know. The Rangers ain't gonna be there. <laughs> they won't. It's like <laughs> damn. There are games happening at our, at our ballpark, guys, mm-hmm. but we're not there. San Diego might get to play at home. The Dodgers might get to play at home. I think the Dodgers do play at home. Why would they go to LA? Essentially, with, don't people get stabbed and and beat up in the isn't parking LA lot? on fire? Don't they? Don't they get beat up in the parking lot? In a, at the Dodgers games, or was yeah, that the Giants? That was game? a Giant. I think it was the Giants. Either it that or Oakland, yeah. I think it was the Giants fan. I that was the Giants. Somebody involved. Really. Yeah, was, yeah. I, I can't remember. No, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, he got like his face blasted in or right. something. Good lord. So, but the, I, I don't quite understand why they're choosing California. Like I kind of do yeah, because of network wise, but it's, and what you could have the same weather in Arizona. So I'm I'm concerned with why not play is not in, Arizona? in Arizona? No, none of them are Arizona. They're two of two I, game, They're in either San Diego or Los Angeles. Arizona is the alternate site to any of the other ones that go down. Is what I did see. Well, it needs to be it's because the alternate they need to realize California is about to just all be on fire. So, um, <laughs> the, what's weird to me, Hunter, is we're playing the same. All right, we're playing the same sport. Yeah. Um, but. You telling me it takes three games to determine in the first round whether who's better. Why can't we just do five? But in the second round, it takes five games to determine. But after that, we need seven to determine who's better. I think so I'm, like five. If, I'm fine with five game series. I wish it was five across the board. You would have five, to, five, five. You'd have to twist my arm for five. But I damn sure don't want three. Um, well, it's better than seven. the one game. I won't say that's, but one game series are just stupid. What I'm saying is that for the Braves. The short series is good for y'all. Oh, because we got a short pitching like lineup. Good lord, our rotation is going to be our best three, and right. that's it. You it, the short the first two rounds will be good for you guys. Then you get to seven games, and now you got yeah. But I don't even think we'll get a wild card, so it really doesn't matter for us. Everybody plays wild card round. Oh, so it's not like football. You'll be at home for three game series against the. So it's not going to be like football where only the wild card teams play the wild card division. No, no. Okay. Where, how did you get mixed up on that? Where are know. you at right now? I don't now? know. I think I'm. We just went over I think who I you would befuzzled. be playing a minute ago. You would be hosting a three game series between the Phillies, Marlins, or Wait. Padres. Wait, never mind. Never mind. I don't know. My, you know what it was? 100%. My mind went to football when I heard wild card. <laughs> okay. Seriously. I went to the wild card round in football. Is but it even it, called the wild card round on this? It literally is called the wild card series. A and B, C and D. Okay. That the the and they call it the so it's the W it's the N L W N L W C S National Yeah, Nash A L W C S N L W C S. My kids have a uh Now wait a minute. They got a Bugs Bunny cartoon D V D in the car mm-hmm. that we listen to that I list have to listen to every day and that they run a joke about something with all those letters right daffy basically sneaks his way into a country club and it's the (laughs) n-r-o-g-o-o-o-c-o and pugs one of the jokes is can't you just guys say country club country club (laughs) he says i mean there's there's like nine letters that he has to uh, Uh, say the first uh, the opening day for the wild card series would be tuesday but it's nothing but american league games then Wednesday, it is the Game 2 of the American League Series and Game 1 of the National League Series. And so I'm going to be confused for this forever. <laughs> because then, once the American League is done, that Friday they still have games because the National League has to finish their series. Why don't we all just start on the same day? I don't know. All right, uh, teams- we got to get fancy with the scheduling. The American League, according and, and Hunter, this per, this playoff percentage thing is totally off. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give everybody a forewarning before I read some of these percentages because here here's why: the Mariners and the Astros. Okay, the Mariners are two games behind the Astros right now. Yes, with twelve to go. Yes, it gives the Astros a ninety seven percent chance to make the playoffs. Okay, and the Mariners a three percent chance why is it based off of who they have to play coming up i don't understand it's only two what two and a half game difference that's what i'm saying i don't understand where they get the percentages on this because being two games back with 12 to go is not a 97 percent math is hard that's one out of six is what 15 at least you're gonna give them 85 percent math is hard but i'm just saying it's not 97 if you just want to do it basically that way 
Um, and, Unless the Astros are cheating again and they just know that they're in. <laughs> so this is a good story, I believe, uh, even though they won't be able to play at home. Uh, the Blue Jays are in right now. They are. They are in. Yeah, and before they're this, third in the division. And before the season, Hunter, I said that three teams from the American League East were going to be in. Would you have, or most people, did they have Red Sox and Yankees, or did, did everybody expect the Red Sox to to do this? I'll tell you what, they didn't expect the Red Sox to finish behind Baltimore. I just want. I just know last year they started off crap. They went three and ten, and I said they're done, and they've been done since. Listen, it's been two years. They've been done. All I've heard <laughs> is it's going to be Yankees, Dodgers, done. and I'm so glad that the Yankees seem to have fallen off a cliff just for a little bit. I know they scored 20 last night. I will watch any World Series that doesn't involve the Yankees or Red Sox. I watch a World Series regardless, but if it is the Yankees in the World Series, I root against them. The only reason I, I root against I them the, and the Dodgers. The only reason I'd watch a World Series with them in it, even in it, I don't even want to watch them to have the chance to win it, is, uh, is if, this, if it's the Cardinals uh, against them and... It hasn't worked well out the last two times I played the Red Sox. Haven't got the Yankees yet. I'd like that. You know, Mike Trout and his great teams down here at 20 and 29. Mm, great. Um, they are second to the last in their own division. Tampa, Chicago, Minnesota, and Oakland have already won 30 games. I said that was the magic number. Hunter. Yeah. The Cardinals have won 21 games. Mm-hmm. Okay. They have scored 188 runs. Yes. They are five to ten games behind everybody. They've won more games than the Red Sox, the Royals, the Angels, the Rangers, Nationals, Pirates, and Diamondbacks. Okay. They've, they've scored more runs they have. than the Pirates, who've played 47. They're catching up with them. About only five more games more than the Pirates. Scored more than the Pirates. Uh... Not too many teams, but they, you know you're awful when teams played five, seven less games than you. Rangers, they scored more than them. And that's about it right now, but they're starting to catch up with everybody on games. But hovering around the 500 mark, I expect them for the season right right there at it. 30, 31, 32 wins is, is where I'm looking at. All right, um, any other news and notes on the baseball? Uh, none that I have other than the postseason stuff that everybody's been talking about i'm excited that we are getting closer and closer to the end of the season and what i mean by that is because since that has been such a sprint i have found myself paying attention more and more because the games mean more they can't just lose a game and i'm like whatever you know there's 154 more at this time you know no that's not the case they lose one Oh shit! They really lost three. <laughs> yeah. So, th- to me, I think baseball. They've they've showed that they can be a little progressive, which ha- with how they're changing up the postseason aspect of it, adding mm-hmm. more teams, maybe considering you know, well, they have to this year for the bubble for the playoffs, uh, making some changes to the season. I think this gives me hope that they might consider shortening. The regular season. Whether you want to take away 20 games, maybe take 40 games out. I don't care. If your magic number is staying at least in the three digits, 100 is fine. Not 162. I don't need, like you said, game 130 where two meaningless teams are just playing. The Angels and somebody. Yeah, let's just start using that as the example. Yeah, the, we can use this for Angels Terry, the, the Angels and the Royals. <laughs> I don't need game one thirty of the Angels and Royals where they've both split, but they're also six to seven games behind in their respective, maybe even more. Let's say they're ten to twelve games behind in their respective divisions. I I don't need it. Nobody cares. Why do you think so many people tune in to NFL football? Because you can't afford to lose one. Mm. And you definitely can't afford to lose one in college football. Um, let's let's take a, ga- a, a meander down. I don't know if we want to go down this lane, but we'll try. How about uh, who is your favorites right now for MVP? My favorite for MVP in the National League is Freddie Freeman. Yeah? Freddie 